Now then, with the nastiness out of the way, we have WWF Thursday Night Smackdown. I think it's Thursday. April 12th, 2001. We have a recap of Raw. The whole bit with the Hardys and Lita and Austin and Hunter and the chairs and all that. We are told the Hardys and Lita are resting comfortably at home. Even Taz is like, comfortably. And then Hunter comes out for a promo. He does his whole entrance. Austin comes out for a promo. He does his whole entrance. This show... Four full minutes of television between these two entrances. This show was seven minutes and 42 seconds old before anyone actually spoke. And you'll Just... never guess of these two men. The WWE champion Stone Cold Steve Austin and the Intercontinental T champion Triple H. Who kicked it off? The star. Yes. <laughs> Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Triple H. He didn't have that much to say either. Oh, also, oh he had but, a lot to say. But before before he spoke, also, they let the crowd chant asshole for like a solid minute. So, oh, uh, we are very dominant. You can ask the Hardys and Lita what happens when you get in our way. Everyone says they went too far, including the internet and dirt sheets. The internet mm. and the dirt sheets said, which, by the way, was true. That they sure had, it was. That they had gone yeah. too far and they crossed the line and it was too much. We said it last week. He says, to hell with that. We will tell you when it's too much. We will tell you when we cross the line. It won't be over till we say so. We are damn unstoppable. And if you watch the show, I won't go into all of it yet because we're gonna. Mm. But this was clearly their attempt to try to give you a whole bunch of babyface wins and happy endings and the Hardys getting theirs, as we shall get to, but... I don't want to be the spoiler here, but don't hold your breath for this lasting <laughs> <laughs> through Monday. But they, they gave you something here because they made you so mad. They will only yank it all away, though, as always. So Austin finally gets to talk. He talks about attacking Rock with a chair. JR made a living riding my coattails. Talks about beating his head in for a while. Calls Lita a dumbass broad. So what happened on Raw was a great feeling. He'd do it again. And he starts to say to the fans, it could have been you, it could have been you, could have been this fat broad, could have been you, you, this buck tooth some bitch. Finally, Jeff Hardy runs out, hits Hunter with a chair, hits Austin with a chair. Stephanie, of course, is afraid of nothing. She walks up and slaps him. So he grabs her and hits a twist of fate. And then he runs for his life because Triple H is fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Jeff is afraid now. And he runs away. How'd you like Stephanie's hair in this segment? Very crimped, as I recall. Yes, the uh, hairstylist's crimp hand was strong. <laughs> you know, I've heard crimping ain't easy. That's right. Yeah. It's actually very easy. It's a live any. <laughs> no! Do you have yes. a book or something? Crimping right is easy. <laughs> I'm telling you. William Regal is appalled by this conversation and also what has just happened in the ring. Hunter runs in to bitch to him. He demands a match with Jeff. He's even willing to put his intercontinental title on the line. Regal vows to take care of it. And then Michael Cole has to explain to all of you dumb motherfuckers at home that Triple H is a hypocrite for beating up Lita, but then getting mad when Jeff Hardy laid out his wife. I'm glad he was there. He really spelled like, it out for me. Fuck. I'm just going to say it later on anyway, but he had to. he had to explain it. To the lowest common denominator. On that pleasant note, William Regal informs Jeff Hardy he's got a title match tonight. But if you ever besmirch Stephanie McMahon Helmsley again, you'll never get another title shot. Jeff's first reply is, well, what about what they did to Lita? Isn't that the same thing? And the answer is no, Jeff. It is not close to the same thing. What they did to Lita was much, much worse. <sighs> then Jeff says, that's fine. After tonight, I won't need any more title shots. Hunter and Steph. Steph is being checked out. Oh Hunter's God. there with her. So she's in the back. Some some geek is is working her over or whatever. And Hunter walks up and he says, I'm going to take care of Jeff Hardy. I'm dedicating this match to you. And he threatens the guy not to screw up whatever work he's doing on Stephanie. <laughs> and he walks off and she, she just looks up and says, get him, Hunter. I love you. I laughed. And no. Belly laugh. So she, she makes her comment, get him, Hunter, I love you. They cut away, 
<laughs> and they come back to China's music. It did. <laughs> who, at the time, I believe had just figured out what was going on. I don't know if it was this week, or it, but it was, it was either right before or right after this happened. And I thought, man, oh, man. Mm. I love you, Hunter. Oh, here comes China. China comes out to beat the shit out of poor Ivory. Again. She slams her on her ass. Then she throws her off the top onto her ass. And she's beating the shit out of her. And then Ivory gets a little bit of heat. China makes a comeback. She looks all blown up, and she wins. And, <laughs> like, she's on the way out. I mean, yes. she's in here just dominating. But I-, I think she makes it to the next pay-per-view, if I recall. But But that's it for China. And it was all as a result of yeah. Steph saying I love you to Triple H. Hmm. Well, maybe they shouldn't have made her angry before she went out to wrestle. <laughs> Jeff Hardy versus Triple H. Had a very good main event TV match. I know you're stunned. My favorite part about two minutes in, Hunter punches him, and Jeff goes down, and it must have been a potato because Hunter says, you all right? And Jeff says, yeah. And they keep going. Oh, I actually, I, let, me, let me go into great detail on this. So what happened was they had a plan and it was that Jeff was going to do a high cross off the apron. Yes. And Triple H was going to catch him and power slam him on the mats. Okay. Off off, off the dasher board. No, 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 Vinny. No, this is where you screwed up. The spot was he was supposed to do the high cross off the apron and Triple H would power slam him. All right. Oh, I got it. Hunter was confused. And so Jeff goes to do the running clothesline off the dasher boards. And fucking Hunter gives him a shoot power slam on the crown. Fucking almost kills this guy. That's why he went down and was like, are you okay? Oh, no, that probably happened there, too. Yes. I'm sure sure there was a punch there. But, yes, poor Jeff crashes and burns coming off the dasher boards, flipped over under his back, slammed to the mat. And then... It, it may or may not have even been his fault, but the poor guy had to get in the apron and do the same bump. Well, yeah. it wasn't his fault. Hunter wasn't supposed to. He wasn't Hunter supposed to take a clothesline, but he power slammed the fucking guy instead because he thought that was the power slam spot. The mighty Hunter got confused. Yes. So anyway, I got to so bring those this two up. flaws out of the way. So during this match, Hunter's beating up this guy. Jeff goes up top, and Hunter grabs the referee. And he throws the referee into the ropes, which causes Jeff Hardy to be crotched. Mm -hmm. And my first thought is, like, how the fuck is this not a DQ? So the ref starts yelling at Hunter. Hunter starts yelling at the referee. The referee shoves Hunter. Hunter then shoves the referee so hard that he, like, kills the guy. The, The fucking ref goes flying, and he's down for, like, you know, a minute from a shove. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Hunter's going to go for a superplex or whatever, and Matt Hardy runs down to the ring with a chair. Matt Hardy hits Triple H with the chair. Triple H falls down, and Jeff Hardy hits the senton, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, I knew that Jeff Hardy was winning the title. I won't totally spoil it, but I'm sure everybody with a fucking brain knows where this is going next, but... I knew that Jeff Hardy won the Intercontinental title, but I I couldn't remember the finish. When Jeff hit the senton, I thought, this fucking ref is going to wake up, and he's going to be mad at Hunter, and so he's going to fast count Hunter. And so I was so sure that that was going to be the finish, that there was going to be a fast count, and Hunter was going to, quote, put over Jeff, but only after... Jeff's brother hit him with a chair, and the referee screwed him with a fast count. Imagine my surprise when the ref actually just did a normal count. So while Hunter was screwed because the guy's brother hit him with a chair, I was so happy that at least they didn't do a fucking fast count. But yes, Jeff Hardy got revenge for Monday by beating Triple H and winning the Intercontinental title on SmackDown. Can you believe that? He did. And then he and his brother Jeff grabbed their title. Or excuse me, his brother Matt. They grabbed the title. They grabbed the chair. And they ran for their lives. Yes. Because now Hunter's mad. <laughs> and Hunter's immediately on his feet, pointing and shouting at him. Like, th- 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 yeah, he won the match, and it was a three count, and he's the champion now. 
But the message is, it was a fluke. He was was not put over. No, he was not put over. This is their lucky night. Vengeance is coming. There is going to be hell to pay for them. Yes. When this when this show ended, you didn't think, oh man, what a great champion Jeff Hardy's gonna be. <laughs> oh, the great title defenses he will have against various wrestlers. Right. All you could think was, how long before he's totally fucked by Hunter? <laughs> 